Oh, call not me to justify the wrong that thy unkindness lays upon my heart. Wound me not with thine eye, but with thy tongue. Use power with power, and slay me not by art. Tell me thou lovest elsewhere. But in my sight, dear heart, forbear to glance thy eye aside. What needst thou wound with cunning when thy might is more than my o'erpressed defense can bide? Let me excuse thee. Ah, my love well knows her pretty looks have been mine enemies, and therefore from my face she turns my foes, that they elsewhere might dart their injuries. Yet do not so. But since I am near slain, kill me outright with looks, and rid my pain. Be wise as thou art cruel. Do not press my tongue-tied patience with too much disdain, lest sorrow lend me words, and words express the manner of my pity-wanting pain. If I might teach thee wit, better it were, though not to love, yet love to tell me so. As testy sick men, when their deaths be near, no news but health from their physicians know. For if I should despair, I should grow mad, and in my madness might speak ill of thee. Now this ill-resting world is grown so bad, mad slanderers by mad ears believed be, that I may not be so, nor thou belied. Bear thine eyes straight, though thy proud heart go wide. In faith, I do not love thee with mine eyes, for they in thee a thousand errors note. But tis my heart that loves what they despise, who in despite of you is pleased to dote. Nor are mine ears with thy tongue's tune delighted, nor tender feeling to base touches prone, nor taste, nor smell, desire to be invited to any sensual feast with thee alone. But my five wits, nor my five senses can dissuade one foolish heart from serving thee who leaves unswayed the likeness of a man thy proud heart's slave and vassal wretch to be. Only my plague thus far, I count my gain, that she makes me sin, awards me pain. Love is my sin, and thy dear virtue hate, hate of my sin grounded on sinful loving. But with mine compare thou thine own state, and thou shalt find it merits not reproving. Or if it do, not from those lips of thine that have profaned their scarlet ornaments, and sealed false bonds of love as oft as mine, robbed others' beds revenues of their rents. Be it lawful I love thee, as thou lovest those whom thine eyes woo as mine importune thee. Root pity in thy heart, that when it grows, thy pity may deserve to pitied be. If thou dost seek to have what thou dost hide, by self-example mayst thou be denied. Lo, as a careful housewife runs to catch one of her feathered creatures broke away, sets down her babe and makes an swift dispatch in pursuit of the thing she would have stay, whilst her neglected child holds her in chase, cries to catch her whose busy care is bent to follow that which flies before her face, not prizing her poor infant's discontent. So runs thou after that which flies from thee, whilst I, thy babe, chase thee afar behind. But if thou catch thy hope, turn back to me, and play the mother's part. Kiss me, be kind. 
So will I pray that thou mayest have thy will, if thou turn back, and my loud crying still. Mm -hmm.